Well, good morning. I hope you're doing well. So last time we got to learn a bit about the history of Gondor and the Oathbreakers. And now we have been asked to talk to Nona about her brother. Hello, Nona. Do not be concerned for me. I am proud of the warrior Wadu became. What is it you want? Nona laughs, a harsh and humorless sound. Concern? Do not be concerned for me. I was lost after the death of my brother, but that was before I learned of the glory he had attained before his death. Those who slew him were right to do so from hiding. They must have been able to sense that he had become a great warrior and would have bested them. There was a tree Wadu loved, atop a rise by the ox pens west of Lanuk. I left his sword there to honor his memory, but I think he would rather I used it to attain even half the glory with it he did. Go to the tree and bring me the sword. All right, so let's go find the tree and get the sword for her. It sounds like she had a little more faith in her brother than her dad did to start with. And now her, she finds that her faith was not misplaced, which is good. Ah, Memorial Sword. Here we go. And look. It's Solvuch. Maybe, uh, thinking about the choices he made while his son was alive. What are... Okay, they are made of logs. I was like, are these logs or, or, or bones of some great beast? Either way, it would have been very suiting. Thank you for bringing me my brother's sword. I will use it in his memory. Thank you for bringing me my brother's sword, Medriel. It was the sword of Rohan True. But to my eyes, it is no longer the weapon of my people's ancient enemies. It is now my brother's sword. The sword with which he slew the mightiest whoever anyone has ever seen. And I will use it in his memory. Nona nods sternly and looks around at the huts of Lanuk. I have a request, Medriel. Go to the leader of your company, a man called Halvored, who has spoken at length with Glenn Brennan, and tell him I will go with your people when they leave Lanuk. It is my desire to avenge the death of my brother on the enemies of the Uklur and on the wizard Saruman, and our roads lie together for a little while. Your man Halvored is in Lanuk, is he not? All right, so we gotta go talk to Halvored, who is, should be around here somewhere. There he is. Absolutely not. This I must refuse. What is it? The Ukluf woman has a request. Halvard listens as you recount Nona's desire to travel with the Grey Company, but his response is quick and unyielding. No, absolutely not. This I must refuse. This is not open for debate. Halvard shakes his head. But there is something urgent, Medriel. Radnir found something. Radnir found this letter stuck into a nearby tree with a knife. Radnir found this letter stuck into a nearby tree with a knife. Medriel, it is addressed to the rangers, and... Well, I have left it on that crate there. Read it and tell me what you think it means. This letter? Note from... Ergerthorn. To the rangers, I am a man of Gondor, a friend of the elves, and of all good folk. Call me Ergerthorn. I see the danger growing in the east and wish to oppose it. Lou Brennan dispatched a messenger from Termarva in Dunlan, but the messenger was beset by foes outside Laid. Laid ago in the lit Lich Bluffs and was dragged within. If he yet lives, he will have information for you. I cannot reveal myself to you, but trust that I am a friend. I will contact you again when it is safe to do so. Ergothorn. Interesting. All right, Albert, I have read it. Is this Ergothorn a friend? Why will he not show his face? Is this Ergothorn a friend? Why will he not show his face? I do not like this Medriel, and yet, if he is telling the truth. We need to know, Medriel. Gather allies you can trust and go to Lado Go, or to the south of here, on the right side of the road through the Lich Bluffs. 
It may be that a messenger from the south is in trouble, and if so, we could use the information he brings. But keep your eyes open. I will not trust Ergothorn without proof. It may be a trap. It says this quest is meant for fellowship. If you choose to undertake the quest solo, you will receive an inspired greatness bonus, but the challenge will be great. Find the entrance to Lado Go in the Lich Bluffs. I'm trying to remember if I... Well, trying to remember if I remember this. That was a mouthful. Um... Oh, we also need to drop off this collar to Saradin. So... We should probably do that too while we're out. All right. Let's head out to talk to Saradin first. I'm wondering. Somebody asked for the code for the week and somebody said soldier. I'm wondering if that's actually true. Hold on, let's find out. Redeem code. Yep, summon skirmish soldier time five. Whoa, five skirmish soldier tokens. That's not cheap. That's actually one of the, the better freebies. And speaking of which, I never did get around to showing y'all what the skirmish... Okay, so this is... Oh no, it's not the same thing. Requires participating in the skirmish, summon, summon your skirmish soldier even during combat. So usually when you're in a skirmish, if your soldier falls, you cannot summon them during combat. You have to wait until you're out of combat. That lets you summon them. I thought it was the same thing, but at any rate, I never did get around to showing you using the Skirmish Soldier on Landscape. So, we're going to have to do that soon. Oh, well, hello, random people. I hope you're having fun. Oh, looks like somebody has the, uh, that snail. And it looks like a big old snail. <laughs> I mean, it really does look like a big old snail. Where is the path up? So busy looking at giant snails that I think I've missed it. of the accursed what can i do for you i know these runes well enough to know that the tongue written here upon is the black speech i will investigate this further all right so that's taken care of that was pretty quick and painless Hundred loot boxes. They have a hundred loot boxes. They're gonna have to throw away some of them because they got no space left. I like, yeah. And unless you're buying keys from the shop or getting them out of your three-year box, they're pretty pointless to keep anyway.
I was going to say, is it getting a little bit lighter? It is. We're at light watches. Ooh, I like that sky. Hold on. Okay, not being a tourist, but it was too pretty to pass up. All right, not enough being a tourist. One more. Now enough. For now. Love how people say that the graphics in Lotor are ugly, and granted, the graphics are dated. I'm not going to deny that. However, when you grew up playing the Atari 2600 and you played games like Pong, by comparison, this is pretty fantastic. The Skyrim's a little better. Um, there are games that are better, but this is pretty fantastic. I mean, it's not a Korean MMO level of good graphics, but I don't know. I like I like this better. Oh, I believe I said I was going to come back to you at some point. Minchum. The minions of Orthanc are growing stronger in these lands. On the northern face of this mountain, the surviving member of an Ukluth hunting party has camped in a small grove of trees. His party was attacked by the vicious Dragluth, which make their camp in the Lich Bluffs. We have attempted to send one of our men to assist him, but he resists any offer of aid. Will you go speak with him and discover what you may render him? His name is Gronu. Travel to the northern foot of the mountain. Gronu's camp is just south of the river in a small grove of trees. We walk into danger, and we yeah. must walk alone. In the past few months, there have been sightings among the Ukluth of foul whites rising from their barrows. These creatures are defiling the ancient dead in a most horrific manner and threatening to spill out into inhabited land. Can you seek out the foul monsters and defeat them? The whites can be found throughout the southern and western barrows of the Lich Bluffs. The minions of Orthanc are growing stronger in these lands. A large pack of fell spirits of the Algrey clans, called Kol Anun, have settled among the hills and valleys of the Lich Bluffs. These creatures are fearsome and are an indication of a darker power at work. Can you seek out Kun Anun in this area and defeat any you might find? They can be found roaming to the south and east of my camp. Be wary, Medriel, for they are no ordinary hounds. The Kun Anun are demons of the ancient world. All right, so we need to kill some whites, kill some dogs that aren't really dogs, they're evil spirits, and find somebody named Gronu. And we also need to discover the myster mystery of this uh, Gondorian that says he is our friend. You can always tell when I've been playing Marslin before I played Medriol because I'm still in that melee mindset that I have to run up to the enemy and fight them instead of just fighting them from a distance. Ah, huh. you're a white. So the ghosts don't count, just the skeletons. Oh, and look at what I see there. Another dwarf marker. We have found the dwarf marker at 
Ford Maru. So how many more of those do we have left? This is probably not the best place to look. No, that's a Raygeon, that's in a Dway. We have one more to discover near the Pole of the King, which one of the quests in the near future will take us there, so I'm not going to worry about seeking it down right now. Take this. <laughs> Put the dead back to sleep. Get rid of these dogs. What's that over there? Uh, I was thinking maybe it was a sheep. It's not. That's a white. And there's some other quests up in here. I cannot remember where they all are. And I don't know or remember if there are any prerequisites for them. It's actually rather fun stuff up here. I do recall going up into this and there being some sort of quest. Am I being chased by something? I Oh, I am. Oh, I thought I'd gotten rid of you already. <laughs> Some big old trees. So, I accidentally stumbled upon this guy, but at some point, we'll get a quest that'll take us here, and he'll have some quests for us. So, we're done with the lights, but we do still need three more of the dogs. single dog among you. I'm disappointed. <laughs> Not to point me this way. There must be one in here somewhere. Yep, right there. Sometimes the arrow is accurate. Oh, another one. And one more. Right here. Okay, so we can go back and talk to Mincham again. Oh, we might as well get on our Elf Ambassador horse. The Algrag remain neutral, but for how long? Thank you. This is a good start to returning the bodies of those poor men and women to rest. This may also allow my brethren to pass through these places unmolested. Our hope lies in secrecy, but we find these lands inhabited. Thank you for dispatching these insidious creatures. 
I fear that their arrival may give credence to the tales of a darker force at work in the Lich Bluffs. Right, did we complete a deed? Hold on. Let's see, remote quest. We can close that. Yes, we have a quest item on us. Oh, we have a quest item on us. This fragment of an ancient amulet appears to be worn with age and is scrawled with an ancient text. It may lead to something which will shed more light upon the mystery of the Oathbreaker Shades and the Lich Bluffs. Perhaps you should take the fragment to the Ranger Minsham, with whom you know to be versed in ancient languages. Well, luckily enough, he happens to be right here and I have to be looking for my deed, so yay. <laughs> deed completed. Um, Mysteries of Inadway. Okay, must have been this one. Oh, we got 10 uh, low turn points for that. 2,000 virtue experience and increased reputation with the Grey Company. Cool. All right, Mencham, I found this. And, and a bunch of other quests. The Algraic remain neutral, but for how long? Medro, we seem doomed to meet ever and anon among the dead. What is this you have? Ah, thank you for bringing this amulet to me. The markings seem to match some of the symbols on a few of the local barrows. When I first arrived, a hermit named Lud approached me and asked me to keep an eye out for objects bearing these markings. For what cause? I know not. Evil stirs in the shadows, and the Grey Company has need of aid. The hermit who inhabits a small grove near here has been searching for relics from older days, and this fragment you brought me appears to resemble some of those things he seeks. You should seek out the shades that have been haunting this place. My hope is that you might be able to find the missing half of the amulet among them. Please take this fragment and seek out the other half. If you can complete the amulet, bring it to the Hermit Lud at the Hall of Sanctuary, southwest of here. He may be able to unravel this mystery. And that would be the one that we ran into a little bit ago that I did say we would get some quest for. And there it is. Corruption of Cairns. Shadows lie along our path. We must seek to pass beneath them unnoticed. According to Algreg legends, the barrows of the interred dead are marked with cairn stones. These cairn stones are remembrances of past glories and the stories of the dead. Recently, however, several of the cairn stones located north of Trakpla have been cruelly corrupted, violating the resting place of the dead. Will you look for these markers and examine them so we might see what has happened to them and what cause of the corruption might be? Travel south along the road until you reach a broken bridge, then head westward to the entrance to Trakpla. You will find the corrupted stones to the north. Uh, we walk into danger, and we must walk alone. At Track Flaw, several Elder Whites have been sighted among the newly risen. These creatures appear to be gathering the risen white and are trying to control them. Perhaps the Elder Whites may reveal what purpose, beyond the spread of terror, these raisings serve. Will you seek out these White Captains and defeat as many as you can find? They can be found in the upper portions of Track Flaw on the southern border of the Lich Bluffs, west of the main road. Hey, uh, more? The minions of Orthanc are growing stronger in these lands. From what's in Lake O'Horn, the ancient crypt below Draghaned, Draghaned, whites are gathering materials for the foul rituals taking place in and among the barrows of the Lich Bluffs. I must ask you to enter Lake O'Horn and seek out the whites there. Their ritual components must be retrieved before they can attain their goal. Travel south along the road until you locate a small crypt opening that has been dug into the ground at Drug Haniad. We walk into danger, and we must walk alone. These barrels have long been home to the dead of the Algreg clans of Dunlendings and many other older people. The bodies lay to rest after the custom of these people. Recently, however, several of the barrows have been desecrated for some nefarious purpose. I have heard that some of the corpses have recently been dragged out of their resting places and left for scavengers. Perhaps you would be willing to travel into the barrows where these bodies have been seen and investigate for me? It is a gruesome task, but I fear a great evil is growing within this place. The barrows I speak are located east of the main road upon the southern border of the Lich Bluffs. So, I, once again, that place I pointed out that I thought had some quests. Well, it has some quests. Let's see. Let's go ahead and see if we can't find the second half of this broken amulet, which I do believe we're going to get by 
killing some of the ghosts this time. Maybe I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's the ghost. Okay, you died real quick. Maybe it is the skeleton. Well, if you're standing here, let's set a couple of skeletons on fire too. Nothing yet. more skeletons. Oh, maybe I did get it. Because it does say talk to Grenu at his camp. Nope, nope. Sorry, wrong one. No, it does still say to collect the second half. Just make it off me. Thanks. Not yet, apparently. Collected the second half of the broken amulet. So I was right, it was the ghost. Bring the two halves to Lud at the Hall of Sanctuary. Which is fortunate, fortunately for us, very close. I think that is I think that is Lake Ovarn. I think. Where's your entrance, dude? Right here. Surprisingly, not a badly secured little spot. And it's not an ideal little spot, but let's take a look at it. It is open to the sky, although there's enough tree coverage to uh, protect against well, a good portion of rain, heavy winds. There's a small pond. Perhaps it even has a couple of fish in it, or maybe it did have a couple of fish in it. I doubt it does anymore. And he, he's even got a lean-to here. Oh, wait a second. I never noticed that before. Yeah, he has a lean-to here, but it's attached to a small cave. A very small cave but it's just big enough for a man to crawl into and sleep relatively comfortably. Hello, Lud. Sorry, I'm being nosy about your surrounding. Leave us alone. We will leave you in peace. Ah, uh, I see a ranger friend has sent you. I hope that the two pieces of this amulet, when mended, become the object that I have long sought. My belief is that this amulet may be the key to an ancient reg, a curse, that has held the land and causes men to wander as shades across the Lich Bluffs. Thank you for delivering these to me, as I truly hope it may allow these spirits to be released from their suffering. Okay. So we have two more quests. There are dark things in the night shadows. I wish you to thank the courage to face them. I wish to thank you for recovering both halves of this amulet, Devodiad. 
My hope has been that when this item is mended, that it might weaken the shades that stalk this troubled land. I fear a great evil has bound them here, and they have become dangerous. Take both pieces of the amulet and seek out several of the unusual cairn stones that dot the landscape. These ancient cairn stones are covered with inscriptions that are much older than those that surround them. The inscriptions on these stones match that of the amulet and can hopefully be used to help mend it to its original shape. Travel to the southeast and locate several of these cairn stones. Place the amulet upon them, then bring me word of the effects, if any, you witness. If you have something to say, speak it. I thank you again for recovering both pieces of this amulet. I have a feeling that, once repaired, this may weaken the shades that patrol the barrows and the lich bluffs. To the northwest, there are many shades that stand vigil over several barrows. For some reason, these creatures are not aggressive unless provoked. Seek out a couple of these shades and present them with the amulet. If you should learn anything, return to me with your knowledge. So I think we have to put the amulet together first and then try to present it to the shades. At least that logically that would be the proper order of things. As you can see, you can't go in or out anywhere except that opening. But I'm still being nosy. I have never really taken time to stop and just look at this spot. But yeah, I, I can see how this would be a place that a, a, a man like Lud would want to secure himself. Like I said, he's got at least water. I'm sure small wild animals come in here that he can catch and eat. He's got his campfire. He's got decent protection against wind and weather. He's even got a small cave that he can sleep in. I mean, it's not ideal, but he is a Dunlander, so he probably thinks this is just fine. Actually, if I was camping, I would think this was just fine, to be perfectly honest. All right, so I would say we have just gotten a whole mess of new quests, which we will be doing next time. Until then, bye for now.